And this question on first inspection, it doesn't seem like you can solve it in uh, using any of the trigonometric identities. Um, there's no square in there, so you can't use a Pythag Pythagorean identity. So it seems a bit odd, but never forget um, the hidden hero, which is the tan identity. So the tan is sine x over cos x, and we take this identity for granted. We don't actually uh, seem to use it as often. Uh, we use it rarely, or we just uh, put it on the side. We're like, yeah, we know what this is, but it comes useful here. So um, this comes with a bit more like digging in, so I wouldn't expect you to know this just by looking at it. Maybe you need to stare at it for a bit longer, try out some different ways. Um, unless you've seen this type of question before, then it's easier to do. So maybe now that you've seen it, you can immediately um, repeat it again. So what you can do is, if I could get sine x over cos x, then great, then I'll end up with one trigonometric function. Because right now I have two trigonometric functions. So if I divide this whole thing by, let me get it down, I have 3 cos x, 5 sine x, and if I divide both sides by cos x, okay, so I end up canceling this, and this will end up being a tan. So I have 3 equals to 5 sine x over cos x. The 5 belongs to the sine x, but it's a coefficient of sine x, but it's okay. So this whole thing is actually equal to tan. So I have 3 equals to 5 tan x. Well, I can make tan x the subject and just going to flip it around and divide both sides by 5. So I'm going to get 3 over 5. Well, this is easy to do. Well, I know how to solve this. Before I solve it first, so first note that this is positive. So um, tan has to be in the, the solutions have to be in the first and the um, third quadrant. Okay, so we're in first and third quadrants, and so this is positive already, so I can just take the inverse and solve it. So if I go and make sure your calculator is on degree, um, so I have tan inverse of 3 over 5, so this will give me 30.96. Um, so that's my first quadrant. And then my second quad, my third quadrant is going to be 180 plus that. So in your calculator, just add more decimal places. Even when you're here, just add more decimal places. So 180 plus your answer. That's going to give you 210.96. Now, rounded to the three significant figures, you have your solutions as um, 31 degrees, um, 0, and the other one is 211 degrees. So hopefully this is um, an easy question to deal with. Um, and then um, if you face anything similar, again, just try things out. Don't forget about the tan identity as well.